Hello, and thank you for tuning into the Stuff I Heard podcast. I'm your host, Joshua Peak, and we are getting ever closer to Halloween of 2023. Uh, this is episode 430. Hmm, interesting. So, a couple of things. Um, this past week, I've watched a few things on uh, Netflix and Disney, and I want to share those with you because it is that time of the year where it's getting a little bit cooler, and maybe you want to sit inside and watch some things on TV, and you're kind of curious if it's good or not. So, um, this is just some stuff that I've consumed. Now, the first one is uh, American Made. It is a movie that is now on Netflix, stars... Uh, Tom Thomas Cruise. Some of you may know him, Mr. Tommy Tom. Here's the thing about Tom. Okay. A lot of people associate Tom Cruise with Scientology and they go, yeah, he's really nuts though because of his beliefs, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, yeah, beliefs, whatever. We all have crazy beliefs. He's a great actor. Man, he's a great actor. And this is a great movie. This is based on a real story. Um, let me read the rundown here that's on uh, Google. It says, Barry Seal, a TWA pilot, is recruited by the CIA to provide reconnaissance on a burgeoning, is that a word? Burgeoning? I guess it's a soon-to-be uprising, communist threat in Central America, and soon finds himself in charge of one of the biggest covert CIA operations in the history of the United States. The operation spawns the birth of the Medellin cartel and also brings down the Reagan White House. Now, here's a couple of things. This is based on a real story. Um, this, <laughs> this actually happened. Barry Seal was a pilot. Barry Seal was recruited. Um, this, is, <laughs> this, is, this is pretty uh, on the nose uh, for what happened. And the fact that it's real makes it crazy. Um, I think the acting in this is great. I think the story is great. I think they did a great job. This just came out in a time where I don't think a lot of people were going to the movies. It was 2017, so we're talking pre-COVID, but also the budget was 50 to, it says 50 to 66 million, and they made 134.9 million. So I guess they doubled their money at least, maybe tripled, depending upon your math. Um, I still thought it was a great story. Uh, I'd heard about this on Rogan, and I thought, come on, this has got to be, this is a crazy ass idea. Is this real? Is this possible? Um, but yeah, so... <laughs> Barry Seal was sent down uh, to Central America to take photos. The idea was, was that he was going to go down there and take some photos for them to help fight communism. They thought that communism was going to start taking over Central American countries like Nicaragua and um, Guatemala. And so he would fly really low. He would get some really good reconnaissance photos of these military camps where they were uh, supposedly training uh, soldiers to move north. And in that, uh, there became a relationship where he was stopped by Pablo Escobar's people, the Medellin cartel, and they wanted him to, on his return trip, they were, they were saying basically, we're going to let you keep doing this, but because, uh, you know, you're basically doing this for your government, but how about this? How about on your return trip, you deliver our drugs, and we'll have people pick them up, and we'll pay you a lot of money. Um the movie plays out and shows you all the steps in between that. Then basically it ends up turning into an operation where he's then sending guns down to the Nicaraguan people to try to help them arm up the Contras. And when that falls through and all of this turns to crap, it then turns into the Iran Contra affair, <clears throat> which I was a kid when all this stuff came out in the public, but um, I do remember hearing about it. Now, the acting in this is great. The The plot is great. The story is great. It's one of those stories that you're like, how is, how is this possible? How did this actually happen? Oh, it, you can see how it happens. You just follow the steps of the timeline and you go, okay, yeah, okay. This is interesting. So check it out. I highly recommend it. Uh, it is on Netflix now. There's a lot of great actors in this. Right away, you're going to recognize, number one, Tom Cruise. Uh, but the CIA agent... Um, Dom Hall Gleason and the sheriff, Jesse Plemons, um, right away catch your eye. You're like, oh, I know these people. I've seen that stuff. Because you have. Um, Gleason's been in all sorts of movies and stuff that I really like. My favorite, of course, is About Time. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend it. He was also in Ex Machina. He was the guy that came to visit them. Um, and in some of the Star Wars stuff, he's, he's the 
He's the guy who's yelling, wanting them to do the thing. And anyway, he's got red hair. Heck of an actor. Really star quality. Dom, Dom, Dom Nall. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. It's D-O-M, D-O-M-H-N-A-L-L. Dom Nall? Gleason? Yeah. So anyway, phenomenal actor. Great group. Everybody in it. But again, you can't take your eyes off of Tom Cruise because he is the star. Um, his wife in this movie is Sarah Wright. Um, I don't know what I've seen her in. Not a lot. But she's great in this. So anyway, backing it up. Do, 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 do. Check it out, Netflix. Okay, now it is getting near Halloween time and you're looking for something for your kids to watch. Uh, Disney has just put the Goosebumps series on Netflix. I mean, on uh, on Disney+. Plus. So if you're looking to maybe watch something that might be kind of PG, PG-13-ish for your kids, uh, you, might, you know, you might want to watch it first to see if it's okay. I haven't seen it yet, but I saw that it was uh, on the, the queue whenever I look it up. The Goosebumps, when I was uh, a parent of my kids being younger, they would read the Goosebumps books, and they said they really enjoyed them. Um, I haven't seen them. I know they made a Goosebumps movie. Uh, with Jack Black, but anyway, this is a series, and I've heard it's, I've heard it's great. So, uh, also on on Disney Plus is the Haunted Mansion. Now, this movie came out in 2023. It stars uh, a guy I can't pronounce his name. Um, Justin, no, it's directed by Justin Simeon. Where's the cast? I was just looking at this. It has Jared Leto. I'm guessing he plays the bad guy. Uh, Rosario Dawson recognized her right away. <laughs> um, the lead actor is Lakeith Stanfield. Yeah, Lakeith. Lakeith. Okay, L A Keith. Lakeith. Owen Wilson, Danny DeVito, Winona Ryder's in this. Uh, Hassan Minaj, he's a stand up comedian. I just saw his special not long ago. It's really funny. Uh, bunch of people that you're gonna see right away that you go, Oh my god, Tiffany Haddish, another stand up comedian, great! So, um, the Haunted Mansion back to the story, they're basically trying to adapt the ride into a movie, and Rotten Tomatoes only gave it a 37%. But I gotta tell you, just from watching it just now, um, it's actually kind of fun, I think it'd be kind of cool to watch with the family. Um, yeah, I think it's a good Disney PG ish, um, watch with the family movie about basically the ride turning into a movie. Um, but yeah, I thought it was good. I haven't seen the one with Eddie Murphy. Um, actually I haven't seen any of the movies that they've tried to make from the TV show or from the ride, but, uh, but I like this one. So it is what it is. Take it for what, take it for what you will. Okay. Um, the, the premise of the movie is a woman and her son enlist a motley crew of so-called spiritual experts to help her rid her home of super, supernatural squatters. Um, and it's going to be just like you thought it would be. Uh, everything about the ride is going to come to life in front of you. Uh, surprise seeing Dan Levy in this. I wasn't expecting that. And Joe Coy wasn't expecting that. Um, yeah. I didn't I didn't see Winona Ryder in this. Although she, I'm sure she's there somewhere, but I didn't see her like on the screen. But I wasn't looking for. Her. I didn't even know she was in it until, until I just read this. Uh anyway. <clears throat> cool movie. Liked it. Moving on. All right. Loki, season 2. We're on episode 2. Uh the the show is moving quite along. The storyline has them now using Sylvie to help them try to figure out what happened uh because as far as loki knows she's pushed him into a time portal and then nothing and so the the time branches are all splintering in different ways and we see that uh the tva is using their agents to take out different branches of this timeline and in there is the realization that upon this quote-unquote sacred timeline there is this group that we're initially watching who's trying to figure out how to stop all of these areas from being pruned, but at the same time, it has to be pruned. Otherwise the entire timeline collapses. 
So <clears throat> Obi is working overtime trying to create a device to stabilize the timeline and to help filter the loom from all of the extra branches of the timeline. And it sounds super complicated unless you watch it. But let me just tell you that if you're into time travel and the possibilities of multiverse, uh, this is the show for you. Um, it is stylized uh, to where they go onto a certain branch to look for a guy. Looks like they're in the 1930s. Uh, they chase him down in tuxedos. Really cool to watch Loki use his powers to uh, use illusion to catch the guy. And there's a lot of good dialogue between him and Mobius. Um, I'm liking where the story's going. And I'm also kind of sad that it's only supposed to be like a six episode kind of format. I mean, we're only two, two episodes in. Six episodes just does not feel like enough to to tell this story adequately. But again, I trust the process. I trust the actors and everybody involved. So I just, I'm just along for the ride. It'll be fun. Um, <laughs> boys, um, the spinoff Gen V, uh, just watched episode five. That is a lot of fun. It's, um, again, super powered people in college and just go from there. You can just imagine how things go awry. Uh, nothing is as planned. There's always nefarious things at play that you don't see. And often the people that you trust are your bad guys. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Watched some good college football this past week. I don't know about you guys, but uh, pretty interesting to see how the college football rankings and maneuvers are moving about. Um, a lot of good games on TV. Uh, my brother and I talked at length yesterday about the NIT and how that's affecting um, the transfer por portal and allowing certain teams to recruit talent that they otherwise couldn't. Um, so yeah, it's interesting to watch. It's neat to see how this all un unfolds. Uh, Joe McHale was on sports center in full body gear, bo body uh, paint. Half of his body was painted purple and the other half gold for the Huskies. Uh, they ended up beating or Oregon, um, uh, and yeah beat him beat him soundly uh <laughs> last night i watched notre dame uh defeat the usc trojans uh soundly and uh yeah it was interesting because usc's quarterback was a heisman winner and he was very ordinary yesterday they uh i don't know if they figured his out his offense out or they just figured out how to defend him well but they made him look like he was uh, not that good. And he is a Heisman candidate uh, again this year. So, yeah, interesting to watch. Um, <clears throat> here at the house, we have gotten a Roomba. Uh, I don't know if anybody out there has a Roomba, but it's pretty cool to watch it kind of tool around the house and clean up things. We are learning to use the mapping system. I don't know if anybody's ever done that, but it's pretty cool. Uh, we don't have a pet. But we've kind of, I don't know, it was interesting watching my wife name it and she was trying to coax it around the thing while it was mapping our house like it was a pet. And that was kind of cute. Um, so, yeah. But uh, uh, what are your plans for Halloween? Are you having a get together? Are you doing something spectacular? Are you going out of town? Are you going to a haunted house, maybe watching scary movies. If you're like me and you don't like scary movies, when are you watching scary movies or do you? Uh, I want to watch the movie Megan, but I have seen enough of the previews that I know I'm going to watch it and it's daylight outside. I mean, bright daylight with the windows open and maybe I pause it once in a while to go do something around the house. Um, <laughs> I'm a scaredy cat when it comes to scary movies. Um, I don't know. I'm a firm believer that uh, the things that you watch, you can't unsee. And at a certain point in your life, you have to decide what you want to digest and what you want to let go. And there's elements of scary movies that, uh, I just don't, it's just not for me. I don't know if that makes any sense, but, uh, yeah, I don't enjoy being afraid. Um, it's been a lot of time being afraid over the years and there's a comfort in, uh, not being afraid. So, yeah. Anyway, that's all I got for that. Uh, this is a short episode this week. Sorry, but it is what it is. Um, not a lot to talk about. The weather's turning cooler. 
which I like. And uh, yeah, if uh, if you guys are bored and you're looking for something to do, I highly recommend checking out the Star Wars catalog that's on Disney Plus. There's lots of good content out there. Uh, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of good content out there. Um, maybe watch Ahsoka again because it's that good. Um, <laughs> tell me what you think about it. Let's talk about it. And uh, and yeah, everybody stay safe. If you're going out trick or treating, are you going on the weekend or are you going on the trick or treating day? How, how are you doing it this year? Kind of curious if people want to share their input on that. Uh, kind of, I'm kind of curious. Is it a Saturday thing or is it going to be the day of thing? And if you're going to participate, when do you take your kids or are you not taking them around the neighborhood? Maybe just taking them to shopping areas. Yeah. Just kind of curious. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, please tell your friends. And as always, cue the cow. Cue the cow. Move, baby.